Hey, what's up? This is Kenny Camera, and today I'm here to give you an exclusive on the brand new Dynalite Baja B5 monoblock strobe. Do me a favor, if you like what you see here, please click the like and subscribe button down below. Hey guys, what's up? Today I have an amazing review for you. Dynalite is putting out a Baja B5. I currently own the Baja B6. I absolutely shoot on that all the time. I love that flash system. I love all the the the, the monoblock that I have and how easy it is to use. And uh, I actually called the company because I started this channel and I wanted to see if they were going to be putting out any anything anytime soon. So I got a hold of the product specialist Peter, and he was amazing to me. He basically said. He liked my past review of the Rolly Flex cameras and that he wanted to help me out and give me an exclusive on the new Dynalite Baja B5. So here I am. And um, I asked him if he could send the flash and he said, actually I have one in Boston. So he had one of his endorsees, uh, Rick Friedman, who is an amazing photographer. Rick Friedman is a photojournalist from Boston, Massachusetts, and he's an extremely talented person. He's taken pictures of just about every presidential candidate you could think of. Of Mark Zuckerberg, uh, Bill Gates, just all these huge people that he's basically captured with his camera. And um, I was lucky enough to get hooked up with Peter and meet him. And um, I was actually meeting a good friend of mine, Carissa Johnson, who is also a professional musician who lives in town. So I asked her if she wanted to model for us while we tried out the Dynalite Baja B5 for the first time together. So I actually went to Rick's house and unboxed the unit for the first time. Both he and I set it up together. We put Carissa in front of a camera and we basically shot and checked out what this new flash system has to offer. So let me go through the specs real quick before I show you what we captured. The Dynalite Baja B5 is a monoblock. It's the first TTL offering for Dynalite. It comes with a lithium battery fully contained, 280 flashes at full power, 600 flashes at half power. It's a self-contained unit that you can take anywhere. The recycle time is 2.3 seconds and that is faster than my older Baja. The modeling lamp is a 20 watt LED, which is much improved compared to the older Baja systems. The weight is 4.5 pounds without a battery. This unit also has AC power for a wall outlet and you can save your battery power while you're doing a shoot, say if it was indoors or if you had a plug near you. The price of this unit comes in at about $795, which I think is a great price for what you are getting. You can also purchase a $99 TS5 transmitter, which which works terrifically. So the benefits of this unit is that it's a 500 watt monoblock with a battery for that price. Basically the battery is interchangeable. You can dial light at one third stop increments, TTL and an, at a nine stop range. At manual it's at an eight stop range. For modes, there's a stroboscopic mode, which is about five to 15 blasts of light for continuous shooting. Basically, it's called multi-stroboscopic mode. This will allow you to capture creative motions while your subject is moving. The Baja B5 has a high speed sync, which is HSS. This is for high digital single lens reflex cameras that have focal plane shutters. HSS will allow you to take photos with fast shutter speeds up to 1 8,000th of a second. At about 1 8,000th of a second, you can basically take a shot with a flash and overpower the sun, and it controls the background's brightness. And the flash durations are as short as 1 12,800th of a second for freezing action. Again, HSS allows you to overpower the harsh light to get a perfect exposure in bright conditions. The battery is a lithium ion and it's detachable. It's a dual AC-DC power supply pack. And as far as the mount goes, it's set up for a Bowens mount. All your strobe rings will work perfectly with it. In the transmitter, the TS5 is set up for wireless triggering. It's a 2.4 gigahertz wireless system with a range of 100 meters. The TS5 will allow you to control slave groups A, B, C, and D with 99 channels. And this transmitter will work with Canon, Nikon, Fujifilm, and also soon to be Sony. So the Baja B5 has so many new added features and is upgraded in so many different ways. But being familiar with the Baja B4 and the B6s, I noticed a few things that were definitely different that you could consider cons, so let me just go over those. 
basically this flash system has no T mode. I was personally used to shooting in T mode for capturing drops of water or any type of liquid. So as you can see in the photos that I'm posting, I actually used HSS instead and it gives you the exact same results so you don't need T mode. So for those of you that don't know what T-Mode is, T-Mode shortens the flash duration in order to stop motion. And the only other thing I can see is that the unit has a lack of a handle, but it's very lightweight and easy to hold. But I wish that the unit had a handle on it. So now let's go over the things of where the Baja B5 excels in. I love that the unit has firmware updates and can be upgradable via Bluetooth. This flash system is the first of its kind for Dynalite that shoots in TTL and the weight of the unit is actually really light. And the light bulb design on this particular unit is far better than the older Bajas. The lights actually live within the unit versus ex come out protruding from the actual unit like in the older Bajas. So if you were to drop your unit, it's most likely that you would not break a bulb. So the last thing that I love about this unit is the AC power for the wall outlet. You can totally save your battery if you're inside of a place where you're just doing a shoot and you have power and you can just plug the unit right into the wall and then you can actually just literally take the unit outside and go explore and shoot and not worry about your battery dying. And most importantly, this flash system is incredibly easy to use. The one thing that I want to get across to you guys is that the Kenny Camera channel is always pumping out content. I'm putting out as much content as I possibly can, but I'm not the biggest reviewer out there on the internet. So I thought it was extremely cool that when I called Dynalite with a few questions and even asking about the new system, I actually got in touch with a product guy. And not only did that product guy actually listen to me, but he checked out my content, he actually liked my video, and he took it a step further and said, I have a professional photographer in Boston and I want you to meet him, and I really want you to check out the new Baja B5 and do a review while it's in your town. I thought that it was amazing that they gave me this opportunity without really even knowing me. So I also called Profoto and Godox and stuff. I couldn't even get a rep on the phone. So. I, I'm gonna give Dynalite the big thumbs up for actually taking my call and taking interest in me and my channel. So with all that being said, here are a few shots that Rick Friedman took the day I went to Boston to his studio and we started unboxing the new Baja B5. He actually just was able to set up the flash right away and just start shooting and here are some of the results. I know this is kind of like a quick throw and go fast shoot but as you can tell by the actual images, this flash system is gonna be one that people are gonna be talking about for a while. Thank you for watching my review of the new Dynalite Baja B5. My name's Kenny Camera. If you like what you saw here, please click the like and subscribe button down below.